Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to execute the infamous skyscraper technique when it comes to outreach link building. This technique is very powerful, was invented by Brian Dean from Backlinko and allows you to get a ton of links using great content. So let's just go ahead and show you how it works. The first thing you need to do is go in your Bustroom account and create a project and I'm going to call it skyscraper technique here to just show you how it works. The second thing you need to do is you need to get prospects and first of all you need to create a piece of content. And to know which piece of content to create and getting prospects I like to use Ahrefs which is going to give me the top pages of big websites. So I'm going to use a site called mindbodygreen.com and I'm going to be able to find the pages with the most links on that domain and I'm going to try to scan for pages with low quality content that have um, a lot of links. So for example uh, why you should drink warm water and lemon and it has 235 uh, referring domains so that's a lot and if I go and check the URL and in Ahrefs you just need to go in top pages it's very simple um, this is not an, an amazing page this is just very generic blog post with an absolute massive amount of shares and comments and stuff despite the fact that it's really nothing special so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to be creating a piece of content that's better and for that I would go on copycock.com and I'm going to just log on my thing. Um, you can hire writers in the marketplace but I would just go on my health ambition topic and basically um, create a new idea and um, basically order a piece of content to the writer I've hired on the marketplace. So I have a bunch here. I could just take this guy and and um, yeah, basically just order a piece of content and show him in the resource URL, show him the thing he needs to do better and, and have him do, do a bunch of research, maybe add more images, um, create, you know, like use kind of like scientific studies, do that kind of stuff to make the content better and more comprehensive. Um, so that's, that's how I would order my content. Once it's done, I would go over back to Ahrefs and I would find the people that link to that uh, warm lemon water. So I just clicked on it on Ahrefs and I go in links then I will go to one link per domain so I don't have duplicates and you can see my default links drop to 169 and that's exactly the list I'm going to start outreaching to, the dofollow links in there. And so you can see a lot of people are doing that. Then what you need to do is right click uh, once you have the buzz marker installed on your Chrome, which is an the Chrome extension for Buzzstream, you create a prospecting list and it's going to go and scrape all these external URLs and you'll be able to outreach these people uh, yourself. And what you need to do first is remove the links that you probably won't get links from, so MindBodyGrim themselves, probably Huffington Post, it's not going to work very well. Uh, Cafe Mom is usually a forum, I know that how stuff works, maybe not. Um, you know, and I am going to go and check these guys. There's 48. I'm not going to check everything. I'm just going to show you a little bit how I would do it. But um, one thing you need to do as well, and I should probably go back for that, is you need to um, prepare your outreach template first, actually. So go in Manage Templates. Then uh, this is the template I use, Manage uh, Reverse Engineering. And then I would edit it. And I would be like, and this is my template, Hey, Name. I was poking around and I came across the article um, and this is the article that links back to um, the Mind Body Green article in that case. So um, I will populate it dynamically and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. I noticed that you mentioned, well in that case it's another one that was a previous outreach I did so I'd be like Mind Body Green article on drinking warm lemon water and I'm going to grab the URL so they know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to make it a link so it's easy for them. Um, insert. Here you go. <coughs> More actionable version updated. And here I would put 
um, and I'm not going to change it, but I would put the URL of my new content I've ordered that's available on my site. And I'd be tickled pink if you consider uh, adding it to your page. Cheers, Gerald, co-founder of House Ambition, and that's it. So what I need to do in terms of collecting information is I need the name of the website owner, I need the name of the piece of content that links back to my body green, and I need the URL of it. So I've created these custom fields, and now I can go back to my um, to my um, prospects, and um, in that case. I will uh, add them to my project, so I guess these guys are linking to my body green. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah, here you go. So they link here. Source for this article include. Um, is that a good one? And if you want to check the metrics, you can just use the mouse bar, and it works in conjunction at DA88. That would be nice. Um, not sure it's going to be very easy because it seems to be a very big site, so probably going to just keep that one. Um, bamboo.com DA32 uh, they seem to be like much more of a smaller blog like very similar to my site um, yeah there's a good chance I could get a link from these guys this is a good quality site they seem to be caring about their content and stuff they are linked to my body green so what I would do is um, add them so this is a blog um, who is the person I will check after but the first thing I want is I want to collect um, I want to collect the mentioned content title because that's what I was using in my template mentioned content URL relationship stage as usual I would follow them on social so I would just go and find a social account somewhere uh, it doesn't seem that they uh, display any um, but if they did I would probably follow them on social here you go so I would probably like like them on Facebook and I would reshare some of their content um, just to show a little bit of uh, interest and um, and then I would just go to that relationship stage just before I'm ready to outreach. Overall rating is probably medium for that one and then I would need to find a person and that is going to be an interesting one um, usually what I'm going to do is I look for like an about page or something like that nope contact maybe um, not really so the, la the one thing I like to do is um, bamboo dot com contact just google it um, it's it's much simpler but it seems like they actually have no contact page which is a crazy one so I'm actually gonna skip that one it's probably the first thing you should check uh, that's an Arabic site not interested but you know there is like if you go and check Ahrefs there is 169 to follow links so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come with 30 or 40 uh, or 50 to outreach to and as a result be able to get a bunch of links um, so that one is quite okay but um, this is a really big site so um, I tend to avoid really really big sites because uh, the editors are not gonna bother with you most of the time but like this one Sarah Wilson sounds awesome that's uh, DA55 and I know she links to uh, Mind Body Green, there's 56 comments so same thing, I would follow on social, on Twitter, um, and so on, change my relationship stage, um, find her contact page, um, and she doesn't have any, but she has an about page. And boom, I have, um, I have her email here. So I would probably just email her here and grab her email into my bus stream so it's like Sarah Wilson and that's her email and so I would basically go through my list and add people that way I would um, grab the mentioned content title and mention content URL and save them to bus stream so I would basically just go keep going through the whole list and I said I would probably be able to get 30 to 50 people I can outreach to that I have a pretty decent chance to get um, to get my uh, link from, and that would probably result in you know probably like 10 to 10 to 15 links maybe um, about that yeah. And so now that I've done that, I've actually added my one contact, but you would obviously add more people. 
Um, and for some reason it didn't make it over there. Let's check why. Um, yeah, so it should be over there. Let's just go and check again. Um, yep, she's here. Um, so once you have your whole project filled up with people like that, then you can just go on Outreach, click on Start Outreach, grab your template that I've provided you on authorityhacker.com slash um, busstream dash review and you can see that my whole um, my whole template has been completely automatically personalized so you can see hey Sarah I was poking around today came across your article how to do this with autoimmune disease um, and you c I have the URL here that's also automatically made and the rest of my template is here obviously that's not the right um, it's not the right URL um, because I didn't edit it. For some reason, it didn't add my email. That's okay because it's in my contact info. And I'm just going to go and put it here. And I could just click send and that's it. It's sent over to, um, to, to my contact. And I would just do that for dozens of people. Um, and then for the people that don't reply, um, I would make sure that it reminds me one week. And I would just send them my follow it follow-up template sorry so I would just call my follow-up template as you can see there's a lot of reply it's like hey Sarah did you receive my last email I would like to know what you think sincerely Gail and that's it it's really that simple that's how you run the um, skyscraper, skyscraper technique using Bustream really powerful um, you just need to grab your computer sites and do better content and run that through hrefs and do that outreach with Bustream it's very simple do that all day and your domain authority will skyrocket so I hope you like this tutorial Check out Burststream, there's a link below the video. There's a bunch of templates and tutorials and everything on authorityhacker.com slash burststream dash review. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.